Hey, hey, what is going on, friends? This is Ron from Optimize Effects, and you're watching an installation and setup video for Vision Scalper version 5.5. In this video, I will be going through how to set up the EA on the correct chart and time frame, and also I'll be going through all the settings and, uh, and how they work and how they affect the robot. Uh, but if you're new to the channel, uh, this is essentially what I do. I uh, have a look at what robots work and what robots uh, do not work. And um, yeah, I bring all those results to you guys and girls, if you're watching. And uh, in the hope that uh, we can weed out the really good EAs from the really bad ones. And I think um, we've come onto a really, really good system here. So Vision Scalper, um, I only found out about this one a few weeks ago. And I've been playing around with it ever since. And uh, there are quite a few versions around, which I didn't realize, but and uh, but I've got uh, version 5.5 and version 6, uh, which seems to be uh, the two better ones. So in this video, I'm going to be going through uh, how we can um, how you set it up correctly. So without further ado, uh, right now um, I'll show you um, how to do that. So what you want to do is obviously have Vision Scalper installed in your terminal. If you're not sure how to do that, um, you go to Open Data Folder, which is over here, and then you go into MQL4 and you drop the expert into the experts folder. And uh, that's where it will live. And then all you need to do is just refresh this expert advisors area here in the navigator, and then you'll get Vision Scalper or, or whatever EA it is. Uh, that you put in. And the very first thing that you need to do is open a fresh chart and it needs to be Euro USD and the one hour time frame. So it'll open up a one hour time frame default on MetaTrader. Uh, but if it doesn't, make sure you just switch it to H1. And then all you need to do is drag Vision Scalp of whatever version you have onto the correct chart, which is Euro USD H1. And you need to make sure that DL imports are enabled, allow import of external experts is enabled, and live trading is enabled here. And obviously you need to enable auto trading. But these are the settings here for Vision Scalper version 5.5. Uh, obviously the first couple of settings is, you already know what they do. And, and then we have the magic number, which is, can be any number that you wish. Um, that you may be lucky one if you want, so, uh, but the default is whatever this number here is. And then we have uh, the initial lot parameter. So this is one of the important settings, um, which is set at 0 0.01 on default. And that is the lowest lot setting uh, that brokers will allow. So it's called a, uh, well, I think it's called a micro lot, but, but uh, one lot is one, one lot. Mini lot is 0 0.1. And micro lot 0.01. Now, uh, if you don't want to um, calculate the, the initial lot by yourself, uh, you can have this do it automatically. So just leave this on auto lot and it'll calculate the initial lot value for you. Uh, but if you want to um, only use uh, initial lot that you choose, uh, say if I wanted to start with one lot, um, then you just change it to fixed lot and you put it on 1 for the initial lot or 0 0.1 or you can have 0 0.5 you know you can have whatever you like if you're crazy you can do 100 lots <laughs> um, but I, I usually start on 0 0.01 and leave it on auto uh, if you're not entirely sure what auto will do uh, and you just want to check just leave it on fixed now the interesting uh, thing is, is that uh, the take profit of version 5.5 is 250. I'm not sure if this is pips or points, but I know in version 6 it is 100. So that's interesting. Now, trailing stop mode is set to true. It starts trailing at 80. Uh, no, sorry. It starts trailing at 120. It stops at 80. And the trading mode. Uh, so it's got two modes here. It's got stable mode and it's got turbo mode. 
and actually you haven't used turbo mode before uh, I've only used it on default so it'd be interesting to see um, how these two modes affect uh, its trades and uh, it'd be good um, to do a side-by-side -side comparison on so I'll I'll probably start like a 10k account um, and just do save one stable mode and one high risk and we'll see uh, which how, how it affects the trades or how it affects the robot uh, which is really will be really interesting uh, Martin Gale mode is turned on and the multiplier is set to 2 so what this means is that uh, whatever the initial lot value is it'll multiply it by 2 on the next order that it hits and the interesting part of this is that there is no step setting so um, I think it must determine the step between the orders uh, by itself. Uh, that is something that I can see that was added in version 6, uh, that there is a step setting. Now we have risk management. So um, this is how it, it um, enters any trades. So right now it is on highly accurate, which is default and recommended. Then you've got less accurate and then least accurate, which is the higher risk setting. So uh, I'm not exactly sure what the moderate setting does just yet, uh, but I have had a look at what high risk does and it is quite interesting. And right now, um, if the EA does hit a stop loss, actually, this is really, really, really important. Uh, there's a lot of settings here. So um, this is really, really good to have. Uh, I don't do not see uh, many robots that have this setting and it's something that I'll look at doing with my robots uh, implementing this system but basically you can choose your risk mode so you can if if a loss reaches 10% it'll clear all the trades and then restart the EA again if it's 20, 30, 40, 50 all the way up to 90% it will restart the EA so that's basically like a hard stop loss uh, based on a percentage so if if your EA gets to 20%, it will close every order and then it will restart the EA again. Um, you can choose whether it restarts it in 24 hours or if it stops it altogether or, you know, continue. So it stop loss and then it will start again or one hour, or four hour, eight hours, 24. That's, that's really, really good uh, to have. Uh, and it is very very important that uh, you use this setting so um, well, let's have a look at what default was so right now on default um, if it if a, if a currency pair hits six add-on orders it'll stop adding orders and it will wait so and it'll do that but the other really good one is is that uh, if uh, if a currency hits, say, six add-on orders, if it hits six, it'll clear all the currency. So if you're trading like 28 pairs and it's going mad on, you know, if, or if one currency is trending really, really hard and it hits six add-on orders, it'll close the currency and all the other ones will just keep going. So uh, I think that is a really, really good option to have. Uh, but generally, um, it is good to wait, uh, depending on how much my... Uh, Depending on how much margin you have, because uh, but but because it trades on the H1 time frame, um, the signals are usually pretty good. I found so um, yeah, it's really good. Now another really really important setting here is the maximum active currency pairs. So if you so a default it's set to 14, so I only trade up to 14 currency pairs max. Uh, you can have this value set at 28 if you want. You can have it set at 1. And uh, it is probably recommended to leave it set at maybe 1 or 2 uh, to start with, just so you can watch it trade if you're trading a live account, and then increase them if you so wish uh, to see how it goes. Now, this is the main control for all currencies. So you can allow trades for all the currencies. It can stop after the profit is locked. Or you can close all trades immediately and stop trading if you want to. Um, it's like a panic mode kind of thing. And these are all the uh, the pairs down here that you can um, you can set if you don't want it to trade. Um, 
if you don't want it to trade, uh, NZDJPY, if you want to close all its trades, you can do that uh, right there. If I hit OK and it had NZDJPY trades going, it'll probably tra close all those trades immediately and stop trading that currency pair. So I actually have not done this yet. So Euro AUD, um, let's just do that because, you know, it's hit uh, four add-on orders. I want to see what it does. So I actually have it set here. So let's have a look here. So Euro, uh, Euro USD. Here we go. So if I do this and we hit OK, it should close all these Euro AUD trades. Let's have a look. Right. I guess not. Okay. Well, that doesn't work. Pretty disappointing. Does this work? Close all trades immediately, stop trading. I just want to see if it works. Oh, there we go. Well, that's not ideal that it didn't work before. Pound AD. Oh, that's because I had the wrong currency pair. Oh. Let's uh, let's do high risk. high risk. We'll open some trades here. Let's see if it does it. Bingo. All right. Euro CHF. Let's see if this works again. <laughs> really sorry about that. Euro CHF is there. Boom, it goes. Okay, so that does work. My bad. Sorry about that. Um, and it's not going to trade Euro CHF anymore. Right. So let's just change this back. Okay. And we'll change this back to recommended and recommended. Okay. Awesome. Right. So there you have it. Uh, that is the basic rundown of Vision Scalper version 5.5. Now, a little thing that you may not know about this, um, if you wanted to trade 28 pairs or all the pairs that it can, uh, you need to make sure that it can see all the pairs in the market watch window here. So what I mean by a market watch is this little thing here. So you can hit control M or just click on this button here and it will open the market watch, which is this. And you need to make sure that you show all symbols. So it will show all the symbols that's available uh, from the broker for this to trade and it will trade up to 28 currency pairs and and uh, we'll see how it goes but um, if you do not do this and it's only showing uh, you know if it's hiding all of them um, it'll only trade all of these pairs that are showing here and nothing else even if you have it uh, even if you have it in here to allow trades um, it won't trade it because it can't sit in the market watch. So just be careful of that. Um, so here we go. Show all. There we go. So now I can trade all of those pairs. Right. So that rounds up this video for Vision Scout for 5.5. I really do hope that you've learnt something here and can use this to your advantage with your trading. And I do wish you all the best. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you've enjoyed this video, please hit that, uh, that like button. And do not forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon when you want to be notified of new, ro uh, new videos that I have uh, coming out with new robots. So, thanks very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.